You come for the keys, sir? Yes, I have. Oh. Well, I think I should tell you that the previous owner killed the whole family. Do you think that'll be alright? Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, come on in. Joe, dear, do you want your cup of tea? What have I told you about coming in here when I'm busy? I'm thinking of killing you and that stupid boy if you don't get out of it now. Joe, that's a horrible thing to say. I don't care. Ah! We've got to get out of here. Right, Mom. What? Okay. Your dad's trying to. Your dad's trying to kill us. Woo! Quick, get your stuff. Oh God, I need a drink. Jude, I'll give you this drink. Yes, but you have to kill your family. I was thinking about doing that anyway. But how did you get in here? I used to live here, and I killed my family too. It was great! Do you agree to do it? I do. There you go. Why are you in a priest costume? Actually, since I blew my brains out after killing my family, I found that it's quite a lucrative business to do unofficial gay and lesbian weddings for ghosts. Why not burn in hell for sodomy together? Hmm, that's interesting. On it now, boss. Give me the game, Wendy. Give me the game. Please, Jude, no. We've got a son, please. Please, Jude, no. Please. Give me the game. No, Jude, please. <laughs> Danny, come on, we need to get out of here. Red rum. Red rum? Murder. Come on, Danny, we need to go. We need to get in here, your dad's coming! I can hear him, quick! I can hear you in here, I'm gonna kill you! Don't touch my child! No! No! Jude, no! What have I done? Oh, it's cold out here. And just like that, Jude Lou freezes to death outside the Argyle House Hotel in Whitby, never to be seen again by another human being. Michael Rennie was ill the day the earth stood still, and he told us where we stand. And Flash Garden was there in silver underwear. For Reds was the invisible man. Science fiction. Woo! Double feature.